purpose in this video is to instruct you in the company procedures for loading our equipment onto the catering truck. It is much easier to pack the truck at the warehouse than it is at the party. All the equipment is gathered in a central location, clean, clean and properly wrapped. There are several important things to consider before you begin. How high must the equipment be stacked with adequate room remaining for the food and ice? And how can all of the equipment be secured so that it will not move during transport? When you are scheduled as the truck packer, make sure that you're on the truck when it's opened. Look at how high the truck is packed. Look at what equipment is actually on there. You are the one who is responsible for making sure that everything that was on the truck when it came to the party is put back on the truck at the end. Make sure that we're not taking tables or chairs or other equipment that belong to the facilities and not our company. Take notice of heavy items such as dance floors, which should never be stacked on top of fragile equipment. Heavy items should always be placed at the bottom of the truck with lighter things on top that can't damage them. Gaps of more than an inch can result in shuffling equipment and extensive losses. You can use items such as tables, bar mats, trays, table foam, tray stands to fill in these small gaps. Plate and glass racks lock together. This helps provide stability. But not all the racks are the same size. Be careful never to keep a rack in a stack with others when they don't lock together easily. Almost every piece of Jeffrey Miller equipment has a designated rack, bin, or crate. There are a few items, however, such as metal benches and three-tiered stands that don't have protective cases. You need to make sure that these items are securely braced by other items that can't move and won't crush them, but will keep them from rolling around in the truck. Keep in mind when loading the truck that the kitchen staff will need space as well for their items from the kitchen and the trash. So don't pack things all the way to the edge before you've got the, all the equipment from the kitchen. When servers bring items to you, you need to check to make sure that they're packed properly. You want to check the wooden boxes, make sure the silver trays are in there. Um, if they're wooden boxes for silver pitchers, open them up, make sure they're in there. Other staff members will be bringing equipment to you. Don't be shy about asking for help if you need it. In spite of all of our efforts to stay organized, there are usually a few random pieces of equipment left behind at the end of the night, a few glasses, a few plates. These things usually get broken before they make it back to the shop. These couple of things at each party result in thousands of dollars in losses for the company at the end of the year. When these loose pieces end up without a home, you must find a secure way of getting them back to the shop. So a good solution to that problem is to take an empty cardboard liquor box, place the loose pieces inside with strips of cardboard in between them so that they don't bang up against each other. Then take that box and place it in the front seat of the truck. Give it directly to the person that is driving the truck back to the shop and responsible for the equipment once it leaves the site. The last things to be placed on the truck are the food and trash. These things are unpacked immediately when the driver returns to the shop. Before you close the truck at the end of the night, take a look around, make sure that there's nothing left behind, nothing that's been forgotten. Check the truck one last time to make sure that the items are secure and packed evenly across the top. Then go ahead and shut the door and the captain will then lock it with either a padlock, plastic tie, something to secure the equipment once it leaves the site.